Is this the one where John Wayne has to go and find Natalie Wood? No, that's the searchers. She drowned, you know. What? She drowned, I'm saying. And this? In real life. Every bloody week. She was married to him at heart to heart. Can he mind his name? Was it Sterling Hayden? No, he didn't pay his taxes. Like Joseph Locke. Ken Dodd was the same. It's no right, you know. Was it Dana Andrews who was oh, not Jesus, I'm going to shoot myself. Here, keep your voices down, eh? Some of you are here to watch a picture. Oh. I'm well, so are we. Was it Robert Stack? No, he was Elliot Ness. Oh, that's going to annoy me. Shh! Here. Ham and mustard without butter. There's butter on this. Is there? I'm sure about the buttered ones at the bottom. There's definitely butter on this, and you know I don't take butter. I know, that's why I put them at the bottom. That's no like me. Let's see if these have butter on them or not. It's too dark. Knee butter. Butter. All right? <laughs> Speak. You're trying. That's the bit with the hot pokers. Here is the silver dog. I may not ask again. Robert Wagner. <laughs> ah, morning. Earring lady with your big hoops. You hate the Thursday, don't you? Beg your pardon? On a Thursday, when I come in for my pension. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. It's written all over your face. It's as if my pension was coming out your own purse. You <laughs> resent it. You having to work and me getting free money. That's ridiculous. No, it isn't. Now, can I have my free money? I'm afraid I can't, Mr Ingram. Your money's been stopped. <laughs> what? We've got a note from the DSS. Your payments have been suspended pending an investigation. Who's next? Don't who's next me. Give me my money. Step away from the window, Mr Ingram. Now, if this is because I was off-hand earlier, then I apologise, but I've not got any money to do me. I need my money. You need to speak to the DSS. You're enjoying this, aren't you, you circus freak? I want to speak to the DSS, but I've no money to get... I'm sorry. Give me my money! I'm sorry. No. You're lucky that glass is there! Did you see the listening? I would bring you there and pull me hoops right out your lungs like the shower seat for side door! Pull them! Pull them! <laughs> Right. <clears throat> Jack, you... let me handle this. What's your name, son? Simon. Oh, Simon. It's normally Peter we, Peter. we deal with on a Tuesday. Ah, uh, he's not back until Thursday. We swap shifts. Oh, you swap <laughs> There you are, then. <clears throat> we would like a refund for the 12pm showing of uh, Rio Bravo. I'm sorry? There was a silly old bastard sitting to see... Jack, <laughs> please. Our viewing pleasure was interrupted during said matinee by a rather loud... Default bastard. <laughs> we therefore be grateful. Here's my money back. I'm afraid I can't do that. How? Jack, please. How? It's not a policy. I can give you a credit note that allows you into another screen. What's showing? Um, Gigi a la boucherie. What's that? It's French. Subtitles. Is there any Red Indians in it? No. Is John Wayne in it? No. Give us money back. Money. Peter would have given us money back. Peter knows us. Well, I'm no Peter. No, you're Simon, eh? Stupid, big, smelly, spotty, spitty Simon. <laughs> With boils all over your back, no doubt. Aye, Simon the prick. <laughs> Aye, give us more money back, and I'll come round there and I'll bust every one of these boils on your back. 
Hi. You prick. <laughs> there. Now, piss off. Thanking you. <laughs> Simon, what cowboy movies are on next week? Oh, Victor Jack. Oh, Christ. Where are you going? Oh, I'm a regular in here from now on. Yeah, but you don't even like the movies. I do even not for nothing. What's that? GFT Platinum Pass. They ran a competition in last month's brochure and I won it. <laughs> Jammy bastard. Oh, Jammy nothing. This was not some stupid draw at a daft tombola. No, no. You had to compose the winning entry. Describe, in 12 words or less, why you love the GFT. The only flicks I want to see are shown at the GFT. Oh, that's good, eh? Aye, 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 very, aye. very good, that. <laughs> so you get to see three films for a year, then, eh? Mm -hmm. And on entry, a complimentary soft drink. Coca-Cola, Diet Coca-Cola, Iron Brew, Fanta, 7-Up. Your choice of hot dogs, nachos. And get this, the knockout punch. A family-sized bag of Maltesers or Revels. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, uh... Well done, Tom. Aye, aye. See you, Oscar. Aye, aye. Well done, Tom. Aye, enjoy the show, Tom. Aye, have a nice time, Tom. Aye, aye. <laughs> Smug prick. Have I hated that <laughs> I've all the tight-fisted arseholes to get a freebie. You had to be him, eh? I've never been one for competitions. This competition daft. It has been for years, eh? We should do that, but You know what I mean, Jack? I mean, it's, it's hardly Burns, is it? The only flicks I want you see. I reckon I could top that, eh? Aye. Join us at the GFT, run by a prick who's spotty and spooky. Spooky, spooky. Here we are. Just the ticket. Right. Oh, Richard, you look lovely. <laughs> Cup of tea, cream cracker and cheese. Richard and my wee doodah. Right. Oh, plastic. Don't think you're off the hook, my sweet. I'll be back for you. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Eyes are, eyes are. Isa, Isa, are you all right? All right. Harry, is it really you? Aye, hen, it's me. I've come home. Oh, Harry! Five o'clock and head up. What's outside of? Who the hell were you? Hey. Yeah, uh, this morning at the pictures. Rio Bravo, sir. I could have made annoy me daft pictures. Oh, right. Who you backing, Winston? Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Sli Jesus! <laughs> it's 51. <laughs> so? So you've never backed a 51 on your puff? Ah, well, I'm feeling lucky. That horse will go like the wind. Oof. Aye, it should do. <laughs> now that there's no pulling a rag and bone cart. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, you're nut. That there's glue with a jacket on it. <laughs> Well, I'm having Victor's Hope. 41. He's the odd Stevie. That's a donkey. Fast forward your baby. Even money, that's worth 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, it's your cell. You enjoy the movie? Oh, we're smashing, Jack. Aye, smashing. Good. Hey, well, Stevie, bit of luck there, just under the wire, innit? Oh! And it's a beautiful day at entry as they get underway. The going is perfect for this kind of race. Everyone away quickly say <laughs> sleight of hand. Who's gonna need some sleight of hand to catch up that field? <laughs> they approach the best men nicely. Back together. Victor's hope just starting to nose out now with Connor Christie and fast forward following. Coffee House now showing a bit of interest, moving away from the pack. And bringing up the rear, that old campaign of sleight of hand. Looking a lot of detail on that marvellous day there when the storm hoped to take the Scottish champion hurdle way back in. <laughs> My goodness me, I can't quite <laughs> Perhaps he's been just a tad early. Only two horses in it now as we post the final three fences. 
Victor's Come on now, Victor's Come on now. I can tell you now that Stop, 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 Come on now, Come on now, Victor's Come on now, 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 Can I get him a tea or maybe a coffee? You dirty jammy bastard. Was that for you? <laughs> Five pounds ten to one. Sweet as a nut. So a horse shop his arse that boy's got. I don't mind a fella having a bit of luck, but it's the smugness that accompanies it with that bastard. Mm. Why don't we get a pint? Aye, ah, suits me. You want to get a pint? Winston! What's up with him? So, are you gone for a pint, Tom, with your winnings? Oh, I'd like to help you out, boys, but I'm up the road. I've got another competition winning entry to fill in. Is that all you do, all day? Just sitting with a wee pen, coming up with limericks for competitions? You like this watch, Victor? Ah, it's lovely, aye, why? Mm. One of only 25 given away. The question? 20 words or less. Why wear a Timex? My answer? <coughs> Time is such a precious thing, with chances sometimes missed. Never lose a moment. Wear a Timex on your wrist. Deserving of a watch. <laughs> so what's the next thing you're trying to win? 52 weekend breaks, coastal hotels, four star or more. Quite the pretty package, eh? Uh -huh. So what product you got to bum up then, Tom? I tell you. But then you'd be competition to me. Good night, boys. Uh, good night. Oh, I'd love a wee coastal break, would you know? I certainly would. Mina, you need to buy mere scones. Nay. Damn bought the last of them because there's a competition on the back of them. Thank you. Mina, I don't know. Thank you. Just because, Mina. Nay. Mina, this conversation is crushing my soul. <laughs> Just get off your hole and order mere scones, Donnie. <laughs> oh, hello, Isa. Coronavit. Pack a links, please. Links? You don't eat links. They give you the heartburn. They're no for me. That's from my man. Your man? Harry? He's back. Aye. Showed up this morning. Six years he's been going. Without a word and then, boof, he's at the door. Uh, boof, huh? I hate boof. Going along nicely, minding your own business, and then... Boof. <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing? I think so. Hello, Isaac. What's up with her? Her man's back. Eh? Hey, that bastard. Oh, what's he want now? Eh, hey, money, is it? He's a no nee use, sir. Mm. Left her portless. Poor so. <sighs> She's a daft cow. She's taking him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show a little compassion. Life's not all black and white. It's a hard job for a woman to go through the rest of her life alone. You any stuff in here with competitions in the back here? Aye, prizes and that. Aye. Aye, scones. But Dem's got them all. What's he wanting with them all? He's trying to increase his chance of winning. It's a multiple entry scenario. <sighs> <sighs> Bastard. So that's us sconeless, eh? No, no. Nip across the things, he'll have them. He could deal with the business. Ever since I renovated, I've been kicking his ass. <laughs> Throw the poor bastard the bones, you know? Nice to be nice, look, man. I but mind and check the sell by dates. His shells are eye full of fusty pish. <laughs> right. A year ago, you had a knee injury. Yes, that's right. It was like a watermelon. Aye. And you were attending the outpatients department of the Royal Infirmary. Yes. Good people working under shite conditions. <laughs> Well, as long as you were attending the hospital, you did qualify for invalidity. However, they informed us that they gave you the all-clear six months ago. 
Uh huh. And yet you continued to claim. As a result, we've stopped your money until such times as we recoup the overpayments. What? We've stopped your money, Mr. Ingram. It's nice to have you back, Harry. It's nice to be back, Isa. <laughs> what are you smiling for? Everybody calls me the gossip. We'll be the talk of the steam of the day, you and me. Isa's man's back. Oh, really? Just out the blue. <laughs> Where have you been, Harry? You're entitled to ask me that question, Isa. <laughs> but I've robbed you of six years. I really feel that, Isa. I really do. <laughs> Let's just say I've been down every road and highway. And I'll tell you something, Isa, sweetheart. All roads lead back to here. <laughs> Any more bacon? <laughs> It's an absolute disgrace, this! It's a police state, that's... Yeah. There's some poor old bugger getting bodily flung out of the DSS offices out there. There's some dodgy bastard at the rob. Uh, no doubt claiming money they're not entitled to. Scones. 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 What do they mean to you, Jack, eh? Fifteen words or less, mind. Hmm. Scones are quite the big favourite of mine, both raisin and plain. When I nick over to the shops on the afternoons... Fifteen combined... words, Jack. That's the greatest bug dress. Aye. <laughs> uh, right enough, it's got to be short and sweet, isn't it? It's got to be dripping with cleverness, eh? Would you like a scone? I don't mind if I do. No. <laughs> that's very, really, um... Good. Mm. No. What about this? Where's my scone? Where's my scone? Oh, here it is, next to the phone. Oh, uh, did, did you leave it with the phone? No, I'm trying to rhyme scone and phone, see. Oh, no. No. <coughs> oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I've got it, I've got it. Sconeo or sconeo? Oh. Nice touch, Italian. Sconeo or sconeo? How I wish that you were mine. Lying on a tea plate, covered in margarine. <laughs> <laughs> Scones. They are quite smashing. They also are delicious. I keep them in that cupboard there, right beside the dishes. <laughs> Jesus, Jack. Oh. Nobody's interested in where you keep your scones. It's far too bloody personal. It's, it's got to be about, uh, about, about how good scones are. Well, I said they were smashing. Aye, and really quite delicious. I'm fed up with this. <gasps> a scone and tea at half past three makes the day a little brighter. Keep your cakes and fancy tarts and, and stick them, them up, up your shelter. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, it's just a gift I have, you see. My father was quite the wordsmith, I know. Ah, Bisto. That was one of his. <laughs> so you could just come up with fancy phrases for him, now. Ah, uh, just about products and such. The car in front's a Toyota. Oh, go away. That was Sachi and Sachi. Well, that's right. They stole it off me. <laughs> that was my competition entry. But can you imagine me, old Tam, up against the likes of them and their, and their team of lawyers trying to prove it? Nah. It was David and Goliath stuff. Pure David and Goliath. <laughs> what about this lighter? Can you give one about a lighter? Oh, nah. I'd... Come on. 
Right, all right. Fire. Man's all this flame. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, hey, hey. Tea. One good one deserves another. <laughs> A chocolate bar. Type. Toe blood on. Swiss bliss. Oh. <laughs> Bunnets. Satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> It's all the bloody noise. Ah, uh, Tam. Genius. Bloody genius. Yeah, Victor Jack. Tam. Um, Navid tells me you're gunning for me in a scone competition. That's correct, yes. You got your winning phrase yet, have you? Time's marching on. We're still working on it. We've nearly got it locked down. Uh, good for you, good for you, eh? You want to uh, run it by me and I'll score it out of ten? <laughs> Get it up, you. Yeah. know who's won next week? Oh, I'll get them in, sweetheart. I'll have a seat. Lovely, Harry. Uh, Isa, could you... We... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jack, Victor. Harry. Harry. So you're back, then? What happened? Did you run out of money? Or did she tough you out? Oh, we're just in for a drink, Victor. I'll have you know you broke that woman's heart. We're all going to stand by and watch you date twice. Oh, well, how's that? Because if it happens again, you'll have us to deal with. What, you two old duffers? No. The lot is. Well, let's keep it friendly, lads. But eyes are happy. That's all that matters, eh? <laughs> Somebody phoned the police. It's Lord looking. I should have tippled. <laughs> she guards parked outside. That's enough, Winston. Shut up, you. You shouldn't be bloody serving him. Isa, have you lost your marbles taking him on again? Right, Winston, that's plenty. Victor and I have dealt with him. Oh, you've dealt with it. Well, how come he's not got two black eyes? Prick. <laughs> right, you. Pie and beans and a half a lager. One pound eighty. <laughs> Nine gingies. Oh, for God's sake. A packet of dry roasted. Piss off, I don't take gingies. How no? You sell ginger. Aye, and cans. Oot. Winston, let us. No, thank you, Victor. This is a point of principle. Get they gingies took! <laughs> ah, Jamie bastard. <laughs> one word. Scone. You see, I don't even know what that means. He's wolfed it. Therefore, it's away. Scone. It's no there. Scone. Ah, very clever. What an arsehole. <laughs> oh, smell your by, gentlemen. Sometimes less is more. You were bettered by a superior catchphrase, which is both simple and elegant. That's no better than yours, Navid. Remind me. Scone no day that. Oh, dear Christ, no. That is so yesterday. Even the kids have chucked that in. Anyway, are you buying this paper? No, it's a lot of shite. It's all adverts. Winston was in earlier. Oh, aye. Aye, asking for thick. And? And he received the stock reply. Please do not ask for credit as a boot in the tea towel holder offer offence. <laughs> so you're saying he left here with nothing? No, I let him have a tin of cat food. Winston doesn't have a cat. I can't believe it's come to this. <laughs> oh well, here it goes. Eight out of ten pensioners prefer it. <laughs> Lads! We come at a bad time, have we? Uh no, no, I was um. Just about to sit down to some lunch. And what are you doing after? Going to leap up on the sideboard and lick your balls? <laughs> eh? <laughs> you know what about the cat food? <laughs> what the hell are you playing at? You don't want to dig each to come and ask us. No, no. A man must live within his means. Winston, have you any idea what's in cat food? Aye. Liver and marrow and... 
Five hundred pound. Who do the ten or I come in here for a spot of lunch with Harry. Where is he here? He went to the loo about half an hour ago. Just check there. He must have snuck out my purses away. Ah, bastard. You can hardly be surprised now, can you? Suppose not. Here, you want to sit with us for a wee while? Aye. Aye, that'd be lovely, Jack. Plenty more fish in the sea, eh? Aye. <laughs> Plenty more fish in the sea. <laughs> I know. It's a useless deadbeat, isn't he? Help! He's at home! Hey! Is that you? Geese at the gate! Aye, aye. Yeah. Hey, bother, Harry. We'll give you a wee shove. Aye. We'll give you a push, Harry. 